Welcome to Primo RV Center and inside a Canadian debut of a brand new Cedar Creek Cottage, the CRS model. So this is a rear living room setup with pretty much 360 degree windows here at the back. So center kitchen with a front bedroom here. So we're going to start here just as we would come in the door naturally. And we've got a great setup here where you've got access to your controls that you're naturally going to want to get to, whether it be for fans, putting out slide outs initially in the season, uh, looking at our tank levels, so figuring out how full our tanks are, whether we need to dump them, putting out our awning, uh, turning on a water pump, should we require it, turning on some of the lights inside. So very handy, just hidden behind a little panel. And then just below that, you do have a great little setup here with a little coat closet, so a spot to put a coat or a uh, raincoat on a day that's not particularly nice out. And then right next to that, the controls for our AC. So this will control both AC units. So you can cycle through and choose which one you want on at which times. Above our head as well, we do have a fan here that's connected, a Max Air fan. And it is connected here so that we can open and close that. It's got three speeds in and out. And it also has a rain sensor as well. So should you uh, forget to close it uh, and it senses moisture, it will close itself. Uh, but you can basically set it here to uh, different speeds and do all the controls here just as you come in the door. We are hardwired with a carbon monoxide detector here just as our feet as well as we come in the door. And this is a great section of the kitchen here. Just allows you to stay very organized. I love this little drawer here. Where you've got all the garbage situation or recycling built in. And again, everything is plywood shelving here, so solid wood doors. So again, in a Cedar Creek, you have full plywood construction through the floor. There is not going to be OSB everywhere. And uh, the big change this year is through our slide out floors, uh, they have eliminated the traditional carpet. They've gone to a fabric, a woven fabric that's actually right out of high end boats. So it's very used to getting wet should something get dropped on it. But the big change here is underneath those, it is a full composite construction floor in all of your slide outs. So if for any reason you missed on that maintenance, some of that caulking around the lower edge of your slide out, well, those slide outs are now protected. So it gives you that chance to get to that maintenance before something happens. So throughout the kitchen, wonderful storage here, just a ton of cabinets. So you can really have those dishes and cups for entertaining as well as your just day-to-day -day dishes, but this is a lovely area to set up as a bit of a coffee station, uh, maybe set up as a little bit of a bar or a place to set out some, some snacks when you're entertaining. We do have a full-size residential fridge here, double door with a pull-out freezer. Uh, so again, tons of ability to be able to entertain here, have family up, enjoy yourselves, or really live here for a, a whole season, you know, six months at a time or longer. So just a wonderful space to be able to operate. You do have USB connections here into the island in the kitchen, as well as a central vac system that's in there. And this is a great little feature that I love that's a new addition. So you've got the ability to prop this guy up here. So it's got two little stanchions that'll pull out at either end. So it can be just, again, a little sideboard for you if you're entertaining and you wanna be able to just leave food out. It can also be a place where kids can eat if you're having visitors, especially if they're young kids. And it can also be a place that serves as a bit of an office too, if you wanted to. So it can be used in multifashioned ways and I, I love the design. We've got a great island here with divided sink. We do have uh, some little toppers here that'll go over top light to drain your dishes when you're uh, when you're done doing the dishes. We've got a high-rise faucet, so it's nice and easy to be able to clean. And then we've just got wonderful cabinets right through with tons of drawers. So if you are somebody who does love to get away, but also do some baking and some cooking and perhaps have Thanksgiving and, and those holidays up at your, your RV park or on your property, this is the unit to do it in. You've got a residential stove here, four gas burners, um, huge, huge oven here, full-size oven. Wonderful backsplash should you get a little messy in the kitchen and all the outlets you'll need to be able to, uh, again, put together a wonderful meal, bake some delicious items in the oven. We've got all stainless steel appliances. We've got that full-size microwave here so you can just reheat things the next day after cooking a bit too much dinner. And then we've again got wonderful storage here at the end. And this is a brand new design when it comes to a pantry here. So we all think just an entertainment unit, but you'll quickly realize that you have the storage behind here. So this is hidden storage, dual function, just a wonderful use of space here. There is even outlets back here. So should you want to plug something into charge, but certainly not be looking at it all day. We've even got storage on the back side of where the TV is. So you can imagine if you are somebody who's a bit of a baker or just wants to leave all those canned goods and those rations up there, you've got a place to hide them. You don't have to look at them, which uh, certainly my wife would appreciate, that's for sure. So again, just a great use of space here. So extending from the kitchen right into the main living area, should you want to watch a bit of the TV while you're cooking as well, or perhaps watch a cooking show, that TV will 
uh, turn. It does articulate into the kitchen area. And then below that, you've got a wonderful little electric fireplace here that does put out quite a bit of heat. So if you're just sitting back watching a movie on a cool evening, you've got some windows open, you could certainly just turn that on, not worry about the furnace, and you'd be very, very comfortable here. So we have a full queen size hide a bed here. So if you have the additional guest or another couple for a weekend, certainly it's a full size bed here so that you can pull out. And then you've got wonderful windows that you can open on the bottom here so they'll get some great ventilation. And uh, you've got dual shades here. So we've got sort of a daytime shade here. Again, if you just wanna let a little bit of light in and then should you wanna go max dark, especially if someone's sleeping here, you've got those two shades to work with. And then you do have plugins here as well. So somebody has a CPAP machine and you're setting up as a bedroom here, you're all set. We've got powered chairs here. So great little theater seats. So the controls for the power are just inside here. They will be 120 volts. So as long as you've got 120 volt power, you'll be able to easily recline those. And while you're sitting in those, while you're sitting on the couch, again, you've got those windows that wrap all the way around. So even when you're inside, you still kind of feel like you're included with what's happening outside, whether it be on your property or in the park. We do have ceiling fans here in the central main area, as well as our one AC unit for this area here. Everything is ducted, so the two AC units are ducted throughout the coach. So whether you have one on or both, you're still going to be able to get air conditioning throughout the coach. We've got a wonderful table and chair set here. Now, when you're on site, uh, you've got four screws here that hold it in place. Should you want to be able to move it around, you certainly can. You do have an outlet here as well to work with. So if you want to set it up as a bit of a desk, a uh, you know, wonderful area to sit back and with all these wonderful views, be able to catch up on some work, you can do that or keep in touch with relatives. And then you obviously can move the chairs around. There is a bit of an extension. You can kind of see that just hidden underneath the table here. So that's going to give you the ability to pull that out if you have the extra guest or two, or you just want to maybe play some cards and games at night. So, but massive windows as we go up in height, which all the Cedar Creeks kind of max, max out the height, you get the bigger windows. And in this case, you get dual pane windows, which are going to do a better job of keeping that heat down when you're running the air conditioning. Um, and especially if you're getting into the fall, the colder season is going to help to keep that heat in as well. Just as we come in the door to our right, very handy if you're having guests, we do have our bathroom. So our bathroom is kind of the divide, helps to keep it a little quieter in the bedroom area for somebody who may have gone to sleep a little bit earlier, but a wonderful shower here. With 54 inches wide, you've got a little seat in there as well as lots of little alcoves to be able to leave the soap and shampoo and everything else in there. And then we've got the skylight giving you some natural light right above the shower. Huge glass doors, great little accent light for nighttime as well that you can leave on so people can see what they're doing. And then uh, all the pieces you want, great little linen closet here. So just well, well used in terms of the spacing. And again, very light, very bright, very beach tone here. So certainly if you're by the water, uh, it's going to give you those those beach vibes that's for very sure with the new colorings throughout uh, the cedar creek lineup as we get into the bedroom here great king size bed i love the little pocket windows here on either side of the bed the fact that they actually open and you can get some fresh air right at the head you know maybe just first thing in the morning when you first wake up just get a sense of how cool or warm it is outside you do have both 12 volt usb connections for charging on either side of the bed as well as 120 volt and there's a great little nook up here if you wanted to set a laptop, iPad, they can charge there overnight as well. So just again, well-designed, great little spot here where you can each have your own book collection above the bed. And then you do not only have the ceiling, plus the second AC in here that's ducted, but you also have the little built-in cadet heater. So again, you wouldn't necessarily have to run your furnace to keep your bedroom warm come early season, April, May, or into the fall season. We've got wonderful storage here at the foot of the bed for... Uh, boots and shoes kind of very handy but the whole bed platform will lift up it is on two pistons so it is very easy to lift that up you don't have to have a lot of strength and then we've got four drawers here great little accent lighting again for nighttime and then this little top does lift up as well so you've got some great hidden storage here whether it be for maybe jewelry makeup watches things like that it allows you to keep everything organized you do have a wonderful window here that looks out onto the deck hopefully that you'd build in the future with the ability to open the lower portion of the windows and then you've got your, also your screen door here. So again, you can get quite a bit of airflow through with all the windows in here, but then you've also got the three speed fan as well. So not necessarily having to rely on air conditioning all the time. You do have a secondary TV in here as well. So if you wanted to uh, catch up on the news before bed, you're all set. And again, well used in terms of cabinetry. The cabinetry here will go to the ceiling. So we've got cabinets absolutely everywhere we can. We've got sort of his and her closets here. Uh, should you uh, decide to uh, use the one for washer and dryer, then that'll tie one of them up. But otherwise, you have two separate closets here, should you not add the washer and dryer. The little box you see back here is the uh, holder for our electric hot water tank. 
and that's something we can access from outside for the fall. Corner here, great little narrow cabinet, great for shoes and sandals and those kinds of things. And you can tuck those items as well, just underneath the foot of the bed here as well. So just a wonderful redesign of a very popular unit, but very beachy, very light and bright. Certainly has that camping feel, like it should be right by an ocean, right out of the box. And then just wonderful creativity here with adding some additional eating area and functionality, hiding that pantry and using that entertainment area as a, a kind of a dual purpose area that uh, hides away things that people don't necessarily want to see all the time. We'd invite you down to Primo RV Centre, come have a much closer look at this Canadian debut of this brand new Cedar Creek Cottage CRS model.